Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Erica and I like to create outfit and styling videos here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be a Louis Vuitton unboxing. I'm so happy and excited to share my latest Louis Vuitton handbag with you guys. I am new to the world of luxury handbag unboxes on YouTube, so please be patient with me if I do not touch on something that you're interested in or you have suggestions on how I can improve the quality of my unboxings, please let me know down below. I do appreciate constructive criticism. If you're just gonna tell me that I'm ugly and that I need to go stick my head underneath a rug and that you've never seen anybody that looks like me, blah, 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 I appreciate it, but I don't need to hear any of that. Um, I do appreciate passive aggressive constructive criticism though. Totally get that. So anyhow, let's go ahead and move on to the unboxing. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified of all my recent uploads as they occur. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to be a part of my StyleCron family. I really do appreciate you. You can always catch me on Instagram at the StyleCron. I like to create little Instagram videos there as well as share my daily style and a lot of family life um, in the stories. So find me there at the StyleCron. Let's go ahead and move on to the unboxing. This handbag is gorgeous. She is stunning. She is something that is so practical. I am in love with her. The inner bag. I don't know. There were two bags. Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? <laughs> no, I bought two bags um, in this haul, so that's why, and they're separate videos. But this handbag is beautiful. Box right there. And story behind this one is I've been wanting a black bag for some time, a black bag with gold hardware. I have a black bag that has silver hardware that I adore, uh, but I also don't use very much. This one is more of a everyday like practical handbag, but something that I can use dressed up as well. She is a first in my collection of her type, of her material, um, and it's phenomenal. I am in love with this particular leather. It's Oh my gosh, it's, it's gorgeous. Okay, so here is the inner portion of the box. The receipt, of course, which I know is important to some people when it comes to unboxings, there has to be a receipt and you have to show it off. There's a receipt. Um, and of course the SA, which I told you in my last unboxing video, he was phenomenal. He was such a genuinely nice, just very gracious, very, easy to work with person. I really do appreciate very down to earth, very kind people. Um, and he was super, super gracious, super kind. He literally pulled every bag I had questions about. Anything that he thought I might like to see was on the table. And it was like, honey, just feel it. Honey, just, you know, look, just see how it fits on you. And it was, I mean, it was great. It was great. I knew pretty much what I kind of wanted. Did not go in the store for this particular bag though. It was there. And that's why he said, you have one. Let me show you it in this material. That was cool because I would not have gotten this bag because I have it already in another material that the fact that he was like, look, look, we have one. Let me just show you. And he brought it out and made me touch it and put it on. And then I was like, oh, this is it. I love it. Okay. So yeah, he's great. If you need an essay in Houston for the Galleria, hit me up because he's freaking awesome. So here is the top and I got a scarf to match her too because she's just so pretty. Um, but look. Oh my goodness, isn't she gorgeous? Super, super pretty. I, I'm in love, in love. And as I said, I have this handbag already in the monogram, um, but not this, oh, it doesn't feel like this. This this is like amazing. I mean, it's just so soft and supple and she smells so good. And oh, I just love her. She's just beautiful. She's beautiful to look at, to like, I mean, I feel, I feel like I don't, I don't want to hold it. Like go hold it across from me so I can admire it because it's just so beautiful. I just want to look at it all day. It is the Pochette Matisse in the black imprint. imprint. Somebody correct me please because I don't say that right. I have a thing for stickers and I've told you in other videos, I leave stickers on things until they fall off. My other Pochette Matisse, I took the stickers off and I regret doing that um, because when you go to like buckle it, sometimes it'll like scratch a little bit. And I just like that this is gonna stay a little bit more pristine for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I've left the plot. I know it might look cheap. It might look really bad, 
but it's my bag and I'm going to leave the sticker on it for a little while. Um, and it's got, you know, the markings and then the two little clasp openers. And the back has a zippered pouch on the, so it has a zippered compartment on the back and of course the Louis Vuitton wraps from the front flap all the way it's one solid piece to the back right here it's there's so many pieces that go into this piece that when you hold it and look at it it's like wow they really constructed this well so it's got that full piece it's got another piece that goes from here to here this is another piece the interiors are like more pieces they're folded here the back I mean it's just so so nice the handle of course is the black that matches the handbag um, and then and when you go to open it you push these little toggles one is a stationary toggle the other one moves to allow you to open it so it's like an anchor this one just lets you anchor your hand so you have something to push this kind of it I don't know it works with the mechanics of your hand to open so you just push this one in and it opens it pops open there's that the top has beautiful hardware this inside with the pebbled leather and I love that about the pebbled leather I feel like when it's pebbled it has that little grain to it it looks nice it doesn't wear badly so scratches aren't as noticeable you don't have to be super super careful although I am very careful with my handbags like very careful with my handbags they don't go on the floor ever they really don't ever leave my lap if I'm out with them I'll put them like behind my butt on a chair and then sit forward um, because I just have to have them touching me all the time um, or I get really paranoid and you know like I said never on the floor never like where liquids or anything can touch them um, and I'm very cautious around sharp objects anything they can scratch I'm just like no you're not gonna scratch me so um, but yeah I feel like it will wear very very nicely um, and then the interior three compartments beautiful so you've got the large kind of medium sized one here the large one here and then the smaller pouch in the back and it does have the care card with the cowhide leather man-made interior lining card and then the um what are they called the qr code and the scan like barcode um and this one was 2230 usd there it is right there and i guess we just keep all this together and keep it in that box i don't know there is of course a strap that is beautiful in the same matching leather and it's finished very very nicely the edging on it is very very nice i feel like i won't have problems with this i've had some bad experiences with um the louis vuitton straps in the bat in the past where the edges become gummy and they kind of transfer onto my clothing when i wear them crossbody I know we've had issues it's adjustable so you can adjust the length and i'll go ahead and attach it i feel like you can carry it a number of different ways if you want to like go really dressy you could just carry it as an actual handbag with the handle um, and that looks extremely nice like if you're in a pencil skirt or a really nice sheath and you don't want to fuss with the strap you can just do this and that looks super super classy very elegant very nice to do my i have like a great aunt that had a top handle bag like this and everywhere she went it didn't matter what she was wearing she could have been in her house coat she was like this with her handbag and it just always looked so cute and elegant to me that i loved it you can carry it like a crossbody so across your body like so um, or you could carry it like a true shoulder bag and of course i will need to adjust these straps they need to probably come up about this much um, for my frame because i'm five two so i would not i don't want it hanging like around my thighs and my hips i want it closer to my waist um so yeah something like that would be a little better for me there you go there is my newest Louis Vuitton handbag now the scarf on top it's just classic I love a really classic like elegant looking piece camel is like one of my favorite colors red is one of my favorite colors but camel is like I love it it's like life color color of skin right um so yeah this one had the camel in it it's got the classic like gold chain it's got some of the Louis Vuitton insignias on it there's the tag and then you know it's got the paisley and pink and pops of orange it's just really really pretty it's got black and white and i thought that the camel and all the other colors looked really pretty with the handbag like it just popped from afar and i love these i love how he wrapped it look at how he literally like made the tag see that he made the tag like hang off the bag and then he did this full-on 
puffy bow. It's just so, so pretty. And this is kind of in the front. Um, but it really does kind of finish it. When we left, we went to eat. And when we were eating, there was another lady who had this exact bag. And she just had it across her. And it looked beautiful without anything on it. Um, but my husband was like, wow, that scarf really does something to that bag, doesn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing. So find me on Instagram at the style cron and I thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.